<clears throat> Hello and uh, welcome to this live forex trading session. As uh, usual, we're just going to go through uh, the markets. Uh, the main market we'll be looking at is the euro US dollar. And we'll be looking for uh, trading opportunities on the euro US dollar. And then after we've gone through the markets, if you have any questions, comments, we'll go through that after we've analyzed the markets. So let's get started. As usual, we'll start off by uh, looking at the economic calendar to see what's coming up today or what will be affecting the euro US dollar. So looking at the economic calendar for today, today is the 9th of November. Uh, again, always make sure you set your economic calendar to your own time zone. Uh, my own time zone is GMT plus two. So the times I'll be quoting will be GMT plus two times. So you make sure you set your own economic calendar to your own time zone. So looking at the economic calendar for today, 9th of November, we're looking for reports of high importance that could affect the market we're trading, which is the Euro US dollar. So we'll be looking for reports that could affect the Euro or the US dollar. So let's have a look. So you can see here at 12 noon, GMT plus two, we have the ZEW economic sentiment index, both for the Euro area and Germany. And uh, that would obviously impact the euro. So I'm going to avoid trading the euro US dollar prior to 12 noon GMT plus two due to this reports coming out at 12 noon. Let's see if there's anything else coming up. That's a report of high importance for Mexico. So that is not relevant to me. And then at 3.30, we have the PPI reports of high importance due out of the United States. And as we know, reports out of the United States affects all markets and all currency peers. So the last report of high importance today uh, is the, the PPI report from the United States. And like I say, ideally you want to avoid trading prior to the last report of high importance. But also it's very important to understand the report that's coming out so you can judge for yourself how important is it, it is. And as usual, if you're new to trading, it's best to read about the report uh, so you can make that judgment. So you can see there usually it's a drop down menu next to the report. So if you click on the drop down menu, you can read a summary of the report. So it says here in the United States, the producer price index. So that's what PPI stands for. The producer price index for final demand measures, price changes for commodities sold for personal consumptions, capital investment. And basically, you can read about what the report says. Now, from a currency trading point of view, yes, this could affect the euro US dollar. But I feel that this economic sentiment index report, again, you can click on the drop down menu and read about it. This has a uh, higher significance. In relation to the euro US dollar, this report has a higher significance at 12 noon than the PPI report from the United States at 3.30. So in view of that, I'm just going to avoid trading the euro US dollar prior to 12 noon. I'll assess the market just before 12 noon, place my orders there just before the report is due out. And then I will have only one live attempt prior to the report at 3.30, the last report of high importance. So again, you take each day on its merit and take each report on its merit and then decide when best to trade. Again, that's the beauty of trading. It's just, you know, taking the facts as it presents you each day and making your decision when to trade, when not to trade. Also, we'll look at the next seven days to see if there's anything coming up that could actually affect our trading today. So tomorrow, Wednesday the 10th. Let's see if there's anything major coming out tomorrow. So tomorrow we have the Germany inflation rate. So that's uh, important to the Euro US dollar. And then also the US inflation rate report. So we've got both inflation rate reports coming out tomorrow from Germany and USA. So that's reports of quite high importance. Then on Thursday, the 11th of November, it's uh, Veterans Day in the United States. It's a national holiday. And as again, we know if either UK or USA is closed for a public holiday, the markets tend to trend sideways. So 
I'm going to avoid trading completely on the on Thursday the 11th. I won't be trading at all due to the public holiday in USA Veterans Day. And then let's go to the 12th, last day of the trading week. 12th of November. Um, not much coming out on the 12th. It's just a Michigan consumer sentiment. So not much. Okay, so that's it for this week. It's a relatively light week. Uh, so, but coming back to today, yes, I'm going to avoid trading the euro US dollar, euro US dollar prior to 12 noon. Uh, I will then place my orders just before the report is announced. I will have only one live attempt prior to the last report of high importance at 3 bit. Again, don't forget to check Market Watch to see if there are anything causing uncertainty in the global market and the currency market. There's nothing much causing uncertainty in, in the currency market. So we go to the charts. So we start with the daily time frame and swing trading. So looking at the daily time frame, uh, the moving average 50 today is 1.1635. So I'm just going to adjust my pending buy order to two pips above that to 1.1637. So 1.1637. And I'll adjust my stop loss 100 pips, 1537. So that's it for my swing trade till tomorrow. And I'll just check again and adjust my order again tomorrow. So for the day trading, go to the five minute time frame. Again, because of the report coming out at 12 noon, I'm not going to place any orders now because of the high probability of the market trending sideways prior to the report at uh, 12 noon. You can see at the moment, the market was initially trending sideways and it started to trend up. It's now broken. R1 and it's fallen back down, but we'll see what happens. But like I said, I'm just going to leave the market alone and reassess just, the, just before the report at 12. Okay, so that's my plan for today. Uh, if you have any questions, you can either pop it in the chat box or you can raise your hands.